If you want to teach online as a freelancer and are looking for a tool to help you work smarter and not harder, you're going to love the solution I found for you today. Worky is an easy to use personal website creator that doesn't require you to know how to code. It takes about five minutes to set up and it's a place where students can book, pay for, and take online classes with you all in one place. I'm Jamie from ESL Teacher 365 and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up your own teaching website and share my honest opinion of Worky. Thanks Worky for collaborating with me on this video and let's get started. First, you want to go to worky.net and click start for free. Next, you can choose to use your Google account or to sign up with email. If you sign up with email, you'll need to check your inbox and then confirm your account. After that, you can fill in your personal information and then choose what kind of coach or tutor you are. I chose private tutor. They do have an option for language tutor. There's lots of other kinds. There's also English tutor. So just choose what's best for you. To get paid, you need to connect your Stripe account or PayPal is coming soon, and you can choose the currency that you want to charge your students in and have displayed on your website. There are no fees from Worky to collect any of these payments, but Stripe and PayPal do charge some fees, so just make sure you look into that. You can either choose to connect your payments now, or you can connect them later on. All right, we're ready to get started. If you want step-by-step -step instructions, you can take the tour. Otherwise, you can just click I'll do it later. The first step is to set up your domain name. You'll click here and then come up to the corner. Your website will be my.worky.net and then whatever backend you choose. I chose English with Jamie. Here's what your Worky website looks like. You can click on the text to customize anything that you like. You can change what kind of tutor you are. Add some information to attract your ideal student. So this is an example for if I'm tutoring Cambridge English exams. You can customize it with your own photo. You can also add a logo or just text if you don't have a logo yet. You can save and publish as you go by clicking up here. This is what your website is going to look like. You can customize all of these sections, include skills and experience. In the booking section, you can choose your time zone. I'm located in Brisbane, Australia. Next, your time availability. So the days and times that you are available. If you need to add another day with different time availability, just add a new section. And there's also an option to do date override if you're traveling or if you can't make a certain day when you're teaching. And don't forget to save. The next step is to set up your time slots. Add a new time slot. Add the name of the time slot, a little description, set your duration and price. Remember, I haven't connected my Stripe yet, so if you need any payment, you will have to set that up first. Here's an example with a free trial lesson, and that one will save. We'll take a look at that later on. For the video calls, you can use Worky. You can connect it to Google Meet or to your Zoom account. If you want to use Zoom, you can connect it, but we'll take a look at the Worky Calls interface. Here, I'm just selecting my webcam and microphone to make sure that everything's looking good. Here's where you can copy your meeting link. You can send invites, connect it to all these different integrations. It integrates to lots of different calendars. There are virtual backgrounds that you can use. You can also access all of the different settings through this control panel, just to make sure that everything is the way that you would like it. Add your name and click join meeting. This is what it looks like on the inside. There's a lot of things that you're probably used to, like the ability to raise your hand, emojis. You can share your screen all of the things that you will need when you're teaching online. Here's an example of the chat box. There are also polls you can use with your students. And here is an example of sharing my screen. So nothing too complicated. If you don't want to use Worky Calls or Zoom, you can connect to Google Meet and integrate it with your Google Calendar. So I'm showing you how to connect it. You'll want to click both of these boxes and then click continue. 
So I've added it to my Google account. You can see that I have a sample lesson here and here would show in the Google Calendar. Now I do have this one hooked up for Zoom, but you can use whatever you like. There's a join now button and I can also reschedule the meeting if I need to. On your Worky website, you can list different jobs or students can book with you. If you'd like to list a job, here's an example. This is for my free trial lesson. And I do recommend adding in an image because it will show up nicely on your website. So just click edit and upload the image you'd like and it will appear like this. We'll take a look at it on the actual website. There it is. You can customize the different sections on your website. If you don't want a certain section, you can just toggle it on and off. Let's take a look at the styles tab. I can change my template. This is the basic one and here are all of the different functions. I can also select minimal basic, which has less functions. And if I wanna keep it nice and simple, I can choose business card basic. Now there are more templates that are coming soon, so be on the lookout for those. I'm going to choose my basic one. And here's an example of a full worky website that I have created for business English. You'll see there's a few different jobs. Some of these are meetings and some of them are not like the CV and resume help. I have my qualifications, experience listed, if a student is looking at your website, they can click any of the book me buttons and it will send them to where they can book an appointment. So these are scheduled classes with time slots. They can choose their day and time slot that they would like, enter their details, they'll get an invoice and they can pay through Stripe. Think of worky jobs as projects. You can offer packages of classes or you can offer one-off translations. You can keep everything organized in the smart board for your job offers. This just helps you keep on track of everything you need to do. You're also able to time track your different job orders and if you need to add any files or media, you can upload that as well. So there's a lot of different functions that make this really easy to organize everything you need as a tutor. So what do I really think of Worky? Well, let me tell you. I've been recommending Worky to all my one-on-one -on -one private coaching clients who are online teachers because it's really easy to get up and running and it has a lot of features that online teachers want and need, like the ability to collect payments and schedule classes. I like that everything is all in one place and you can customize it so you can attract your ideal student. There's also a lot of features that are coming soon and being worked on currently, like recurring meetings, and group calls, so be on the lookout for all of those updates coming soon. I recommend putting your Worky website link in your social media bios and then telling potential students to click the link in bio to check out your classes, learn more about you, and to book classes with you. Now let's talk about costs. It's free to get started with Worky Starter. There's no monthly fee and there's 0% fees on transactions. Now there is a Worky Pro plan and you can upgrade to this professional plan at any time. And this is going to have even more customization, professional features and automation. I recommend getting started today with Worky Starter. Check it out, try it out with your students, see what you think. And then you can always up upgrade to the pro plan, especially as the new features come out. In my opinion, having a professional looking website is essential for freelance online teachers. And I'm honestly surprised at how easy it is to get started with Worky. If you're ready to create your own teacher website using Worky, then check out the link in the description box. If you have any questions about Worky, just leave a comment below and you can find me on Instagram at ESLteacher365. If you'd like to learn how to use social media to find students to teach online, then you can watch this video next. Happy teaching!